folks. Welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And this week we have a very special guest with us. We are honored and privileged to have her. She is beautiful. She is deadly. She is the death. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sarah Del Rey. Hello, everyone. Hello, Sarah Del Rey. As I said, we're very excited to have you on. I think you're the first uh, full-fledged uh, women's wrestler that's been on the show uh, for as long as really? we've been on. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, but, uh, so, so how are you doing tonight? I, I understand you have a new haircut. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I just got it today. I really like it because, uh, I've been having a bad hair cutting problem because I live in Philadelphia, but my home is California. And so I've been getting my hair cut, uh, there for so long. And the last year I got uh, was Christmas and it was a really good one. So, uh, I needed a haircut a few weeks ago and I went to some lady and I'm like, just kind of trim up what she did and i don't know what the heck she did but she messed me all up so <laughs> i'm back excellent excellent um i think i think before we should get into it for uh, those listeners out there maybe have not come across you uh, on the indie scene or at ring of Honor or anything maybe you know somebody usually watches on monday night or whatever uh tell them tell them who tell them who sarah del rey is for the uninitiated please um i am a strong tough female wrestler and uh i wrestle like the boys i've been told that um i don't, I don't really know <laughs> what what my definition is but uh for those of you who don't know check it out because i think it's a uh, something you're not expecting from a woman's wrestler there's definitely there definitely is if anybody wants to check out Sarah Del Rey after this interview, uh, there's a lot of stuff up on YouTube, a lot of great matches up on there, um, and I think you even have some of your Ring of Honor stuff on uh, your website, correct? Yeah. Excellent. So, uh, well, at first we get into it. Um, of course, w what made you uh, uh, think to get into wrestling? Oh, I really like wrestling growing up, um, and then I, I kind of stopped watching it. And then getting back into it, uh, just, you know, the sporting part of it really filled me. The girls, like, man, they just were not as athletic as the boys, and they just kind of looked foolish to me. And I'm like, I bet I could do that better than them. So I uh, looked for a school and started training, and then I saw my first Japanese women's match, and it was all over. Like, that's exactly <laughs> what I wanted to do but didn't know. Yeah, now I think I read you. You know, you watched a lot of wrestling uh, growing up and getting out to. But about what era were you uh, considering actually becoming a wrestler? Like, like what what area era of like WWE were we talking about? Like, what was what was their representation at the time on the on the big stage? Oh gosh, who were the girls around? Um, <laughs> it was whatever pay per view it was that Austin got hit by the car. Mm-hmm. I had gathered with some friends to watch this pay per view. Like, I had no idea anything about us until then, and uh, I saw it. And I don't remember the girls on there, but maybe it was like BB and uh, Terry Reynolds, maybe Tori. Uh, uh, so it was probably like, really so we're probably talking bra and panty and evening gown matches back in that day. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, so, like, we tried to wrestle, like, did, like, some wrestling moves, but they just, I don't know, just look so like, eh, I'm a girl, like, <laughs> so lame. Excellent, excellent. Now, now, uh, um, now, you spent a lot of time in Japan, correct? Right. Uh, that was, what, was, what was that experience, experience like uh, going over there? We've talked to a few people on the show that have traveled over there and how it's a completely different environment, uh, especially how different is it for, for the women's wrestling over there? It was awesome and amazing. Like, I used it totally just as a, a learning trip. You know, um, it kind of blew my mind that I was on the show. Like, I just wanted to stay in the dojo and, like, train, and they trained every day. So that, it was, like, completely different environment. Like, not um, even though when I trained, uh, regularly at the school, it was like four times a week, but just like living there and being so immersed in it all. And they ran shows like, gosh, at least two, maybe two weeks, like just so many shows and so much wrestling. Um, so that was really awesome to be around. I forget what the rest of your question was. 
Oh, just pretty much like the difference between that <laughs> that in America's uh, women's wrestling scene. Oh yeah, when I started like um, there were no girls at my school. Cheerleader Melissa was in Southern California, and she would come up and like manage. But I never saw like independent girls like wrestling or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So and I didn't train with any girls. So just being able to go there and like train with all the girls, it was amazing and loved it. Excellent, excellent. Now, now you're also a staple in uh, uh, Shimmer as well as uh, Ring of Honor. We've seen you uh, uh, from week to week here on uh, HDNet. Uh, uh, what's a, what's it like being a part of? I, I believe they're 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 all under the same umbrella as far as an organization, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what's it like being on there and actually getting the national exposure on HDNet? It's pretty cool. It's um, it's a great learning experience. I think everyone there is just learning as we go. Um, not many people there have had the experience on TV, so it's completely different than our you know, local high school gym or mm. something like that. But it's amazing to learn, and it's just a whole other aspect of wrestling that I didn't uh, know about or have very much knowledge about that I get to now find what I knew. So I love it. It's a great experience and shimmer kind of the same thing like there was never really a place that would consistently book you know girls and have a storyline or feuds to where the fan base would really get to know you and you could you know um bottom your character and try character wise and wrestling wise so it's a great place to do that and the fan responded really well to the product so it's amazing excellent excellent uh, well, we have some fan, uh, some fan submitted questions here. Uh, I wanted to get the Mad Mics in the chat room before I forget about it. Um, I, if I scrolled up here, see if I recall most of it. Uh, he asks, uh, "What do you think is the best representation?" Maybe a loaded question. Uh, what do you think is the best rep- is the best representation of women's wrestling today uh, amongst all the all the big groups? Of course, uh, WWE, TNA. Uh, he even threw in uh, Shimmer and Wrestleicious in that mix. Uh, what What do you think is the best thing? What in, in, you know uh, as far as women's wrestling? This day today, like right now, it would have to be Shimmer. I think. Uh, Last year, at this time, it would be TNA because they were doing amazing things with their women's division. Um, but right now, it's definitely Shimmer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you seen the Wrestlelicious product? Yes, I have. No, what, what, what do you think of it as, as a women's wrestler? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, for what it is, it's fine. It's funny. Um, mm-hmm. I watched, I don't even know, maybe it was the first episode or whatever episode it was, and like, I was really entertained. Then when we started wrestling, I was so uninterested. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. And I find that very odd because, I mean, I'm a fan of women's wrestling, especially like, I thought I would be most interested in the match, but that's when I turned it off. So I don't know. I think it's interesting. It's funny. It's giving people jobs. So good for them. It's another place to work. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Another another one put in uh, from uh, WrestleFan, uh, who wasn't able to join us in the chat this week. Uh, no, he's he, in. Oh, is he in? He made it just in. Oh, excellent. He made it out of the volcanic ash. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he says, you are currently teaming with Daisy Hayes in Shikara as part of BDK. Uh, yep. Uh, where you two are wrestling men. Is wrestling men any different from wrestling women? And uh, which do you prefer? Um, it's a lot different. I trained with men, uh, in the beginning, like I said, so I don't know, it's kind of like easier for me, but I got used to wrestling women. So I, I mean, I don't know. I enjoy it. There's many differences and advantages and disadvantages. Um, I think now as a team, we have a lot to offer and wrestling the guys is just where we need to be instead of wrestling each other or just bringing in random girls. I think, um, we bring a lot to the table turn of the matches. So, uh, I think it's uh, going pretty good. Excellent. Excellent. Um, and he also asks, uh, uh, which which female wrestler uh, from the past would you have liked to get in the ring with? Uh, Sherry Martell... Probably American Girl. She's my number one. Okay. Awesome. Medusa would have been cool. Too. <laughs> um, he also asked, if, <laughs> of course, if an offer came uh, to you from WWE or TNA, uh, uh, would, would you go and which would you prefer? 
Yeah, I go. Like, <laughs> a lot of people think I'm not going to sell out and go, but, like, really, that's the dream, right? That's kind of why I started, to get national exposure and do it and maybe hopefully change the way women's wrestling is looked at. So on either platform, I'd love to do it. Um, I just hope that, uh, like, I could do do it my way. Excellent. So either company that would let me do it my way, I'm more than happy to be a part of. Heck, even if they're not, I'll be a part of it, and then I'll change it so, my so, way. So more for the experience, eh? Yeah, I think it would be great. And, I mean, in both places, there's so much knowledge mm -hmm. and so many cool guys that you could learn from. And, and um, I think what every wrestler aspires to one day do. Excellent. Um, and we had one. We had a voicemail actually uh, calling, asking. Uh, our, our our one our one voicemailer is is very big on recollecting when he's uh he's he's met our guests or seen them at shows. And he was wondering if you recalled a, a, an event in Youngstown, Ohio, in two thousand seven, where you destroyed Sassy Stephanie. Um, I've destroyed her a couple different times in Ohio. <laughs> in for Youngstown. Excellent. Uh, there's one match I remember. Huh? Yeah, I can't. I mean, I've wrestled her a few times. I've pretty much destroyed her each time. Excellent. She's got a lot of fun. She's coming back. I actually just saw, personally just saw her for the first time take on uh, Nevaeh and uh, IWC this past weekend uh, here in the Pittsburgh area. <clears throat> yeah, how'd you like it? Uh, it, was, it was decent. It was decent. Um, LB, um, I think you have some questions for our guest. Um, well, uh, I'm curious uh, if you have any uh, personal heroes, not necessarily um, from the world of wrestling, but those definitely do apply. Oh, man, that's a tough question. Um, I'm a huge fan of the building world, so uh, B. Arthur is definitely a hero of mine. And even all the ladies, just they're so talented in their, I mean, comedy, drama, the musicals, they were so entertaining and... Uh, I guess in wrestling it would have to be Aja Kong because she was the first Japanese uh you know I saw and I was just like blown away, like jaw dropping like she was it. Like she's the end all be all in wrestling for me. Awesome. Excellent. Now uh, Is that the saying? Is that how the saying goes? End all be all? <laughs> be all end all? I think that's the same that's anyway, huh? Well, now, uh, do you keep up with the current product, uh, like WWE, TNA, things like that? Yeah, I try to. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's got, both products have points in it that I'm not so interested in. I mean, they're, I, yeah. Dang, that's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know uh, uh, if, if I could, uh, I know I know you just did a, had a video come up on uh, on Ring of Honor. I, I think it's also on your site uh, 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 talking about uh, how you are not divas in Ring of Honor. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought it was a pretty good point there. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, yeah. I really like NXT. Mm-hmm. Even though there's no girls on it, it um, <laughs> would you like to see a women's NXT maybe in the in the future season? Is better than Diva Search. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, it'd be like the Diva Search with skill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then they had him like carry kegs. Yeah. And I thought, oh, it's just like the Diva Search, but. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is something about Sarah Delray that most people? Don't know, or we'd be surprised to know that you are okay with our fans actually knowing. Oh man, you guys are full of the tough questions. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're, we're um, hard hitters on this show. <laughs> you're what? So we we hit, we have the hard hitting questions on this show. Sorry. <laughs> oh yes, you do definitely. <laughs> um. Okay, something that people might not know or be surprised to know about me. Well, this is no surprise. I really love tea, but it's kind of a little secret to try and watch it when no one's around. But I really like, like, home improvement shows, like 
or like clean house, like anything about like decorating and that kind of stuff. I don't know why, because I don't really decorate my house up too much, but I, I still love the shows. Uh, and now I, I read that you're uh, 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 really big into dieting and working out and everything. Uh, are you are you big on the Food Channel or uh, Man vs. Food or anything? Uh, I used to like Man vs. Food a really lot, but uh, ever since like diet changed, uh, like it's kind of changed my whole like outlook on food and eating. And when I watch it, like I get sick for him. Like I don't. <laughs> I mean, I. Before I was just like, oh, this is amazing, but then I think like, why is this poor guy doing this to himself? And like, what is the food like? Not very good, and I don't know. And the hot stuff, it, yeah, the spice, I don't know. The it just kind of turns my stomach. Yeah, yeah. They're... I do like the Food Network sometimes. Um, like Paula Dean. Awesome. What are your thoughts on Alton Brown? Oh, he's kind of annoying, but I like um, Iron Chef. <laughs> I don't uh, watch his show, though. Yeah. yeah, his show's it's shot weird. Anyway. Um, yeah. Okay, now, I, I have to ask this. Uh, it's it's kind of a personal question. Um, I've made no secret here on the show that I'm a, I'm a big... Um, I've, got a, I've got a thing for Awesome Kong, okay? Mm-hmm. And you have an upcoming match with Awesome Kong, right? Uh, in right. Ring of Honor, I believe. Right. So, um, what's she like? She's awesome. Do you follow <laughs> her on Twitter? Oh, I love following her on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, she's just so entertaining. Like, I could just sit and watch her, like, do anything. Like, she's all entertaining all the time. She's an awesome person. And I'm really looking forward to our match uh, next month in New York City. Excellent. Thank you for um, uh, uh, answering my ridiculous question. Um, so what is next for Sarah Del Rey? Um, I hope this year to be doing uh, uh, wrestling still and just getting better and hopefully traveling more. Maybe ending up in WWE or TNA. Who knows? Excellent. Excellent. Might we might we see you in the Western PA area? Uh, are there rumblings of that in the near future? In where? In the Western PA, the Pittsburgh Erie areas. Uh, I do not have anything coming up that I know of, but maybe. I'll throw that out there. Uh, IWC, we'd like to see her back. I believe we did see you a, a year or two ago in IWC. That's true. Yeah, I thought they closed. Uh, uh, no, no, no. They they uh they they came under new ownership under Chuck Roberts, uh, the announcer out there. So. Oh, good. So. Oh, good. That was a fun group. <laughs> Excellent. So uh so uh, Chuck Roberts, if you're listening, we'd like to see Sarah Del Rey back. So uh, get in touch. Yes, we'll she would it. like to come back. So, uh, well, thank you, Sarah Del Rey. Thank you very much for gracing us with your presence here on the show. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, we hope you had fun uh, uh, talking with us. We would love to have you on anytime. Um, tell tell people uh, if they want to find out more about Sarah Del Rey, where can they find you on the internet? Uh, www.saradelrey.com. Excellent. It has all my information. If you want to follow me on Twitter or uh, MySpace, anything like that, you can uh, go through my website and all that information. My upcoming shows, merchandise, everything's up there. That's right. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Sarah Del Rey. And uh, we'll be seeing you uh, well, on ROH, amongst other things. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thanks very much. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Del Rey joining us here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm very... <laughs> what? 